All right, we're going to cover installing OpenBSD 5.9 on an SGI uh, O2 workstation. So we're going to choose uh, local CD-ROM. You can install in multiple ways, but uh, CD-ROM is by far the easiest. So it's just booting up the CD-ROM. There we go. All right, you can see the details about the system. We have our uh, MIPSR 10,000 CPU at 250 megahertz, a uh, gigabyte of RAM, some serial ports, um, our SCSI controller, uh, there's our Fujitsu Sun 146 gig disk. Uh, yeah. So we want to choose uh, install. Defaults. Hostname SGI. DHCP. No IPv6. Open there. We're just going to put in our root password. We want to start SSH by default. Uh, no. Yes. The mountain. Zero. Place the volume header. I'm gonna do a custom layout. So I'm gonna do D. So if you read the little blurb there, it tells you that the root partition has to be at the beginning of the disk. Um, so for size here, we're going to choose 85%. It's a nice thing about the BSD, OpenBSD uh, disk labeling tools. You can carve it up by percentages for 2BSD, mount point root. We're going to add another partition. This is going to be our swap um, size. Let's make that uh, 2%. Swap. And then we'll add a third partition size. Uh, we'll just choose the, the remaining size. We're going to mount that as our temp. It's a rather large temp, but uh, I don't really care. So we're going to write this disk label it to the disk. Exit. There we go. All right, so the source for our software sets is still the, the CD-ROM. So it's going to spin up the disk and look at the software sets. And the path is 5.9 SGI. So these are the default install sets. Um, if you don't want X, you can remove the, the stuff that's prefixed with X. Um, or if you don't want compilers, for example, you can remove the uh, comp 5.9 package, but I'm just going to choose all of it. Now, I don't know if this is an oversight um, or if it's intentional, but the SHA-256 signature file is missing from the ISO. Um, so it, if you don't type yes here, it won't install because it can't verify uh, cryptograph cryptographically that the packages are, are legitimate. But We'll trust them.
All right, we're done. So now it's just populating the uh, dev directory with all the device nodes. All right, cool. <clears throat> We're all done. So all that's left is the crying. All right, we're booting up our disk. These, uh, let's open the SSL piece and the SSH piece. Uh, really, only happen on the first boot after they're started because they don't, they haven't done the creating the host keys yet. There we go.